Hello and welcome once again. In this video I'm going to show you how I made these really teeny tiny uh, cute bunnies and they have their coats and hats on and I really enjoy doing them and I hope you make your own and you enjoy it too. It's really small and enjoyable so let's get started. It's around five centimeters and I tried to make it the same size but somehow it turned out to be a little bit bigger you can make it smaller and I think bigger was better for the video so you can see the details more clearly so I've just rolled some wool and I'm pelting it for the body it's uh, a cylindrical shape and for the head I just folded the wool to have a little pointy end to it and that's going to be the muzzle and then I folded the rest of the wool to make the head and I just folded it over and felted it down so it forms a cone shape and you can add more wool to the head part so it's more rounded and then I kept shaping it with my needle and I really enjoyed these miniatures I couldn't stop I've made two more an even smaller one that's going to be the baby so I'm working on that so I'm attaching the head at this point because it's so tiny it's easier to do the whole body together so I'm attaching the head now and getting it into shape Once that is done, I'm folding down some wool to make the cheeks and I'm gonna have three similar shapes, slightly elongated and just folded some wool because it's so tiny and it has to remain tiny. I have to use really small amounts of wool for each part. So when I filter three parts, I have to attach them to the head. So two of them are going to be the cheeks. So I'm attaching one both the sides. So that gives the shape. And the last one will be on the forehead coming down all the way to the nose. So now, now we've got the head of the bunny done. And if you attach more wool, it's just going to make the bunny a bit bigger. So you have to be careful with the amounts you're using and the same goes for the limbs they have to be really small because you have to cover them in colored wool as well so they have to be really teeny tiny so i'm just rolling over and i'm felting it all around these are going to be the arms Now for the feet, I just folded some wool over and uh, felting it down, just a little square shape and it's really small amount of wool. I'm just felting it roughly and now I've given it two little cuts so I can shape the toes and I'm giving it three toes just to make life simpler. And. I'm going to felt it to give it more shape and I've taken really tiny amount of wool so when I felt it down it's gonna be smaller and as we have got a really small body they shouldn't be really big so you have to keep measuring them up with the body so you get the size right and if you think it's too big just felt 
down the sides and make them smaller. And you can shape them by pressing them with your fingers as well. So I'm trying to make this smaller. Because when you attach the colored bird to them, they're gonna get bigger. Placed with the body, they still seem a bit bigger. And so I'm just felting them more firmly and trying to make them smaller at the same time. So you see, you have to take really small amount of wool. And these projects are fun to do and I really enjoyed it, doing the small size. Now I'm giving it some color, starting with the head. I'm using carded wool for the fur, for the colors, because I had some really nice colors from the world of wool, and uh, it's easier to work with carded wool. And you can use merino tops if you want. You can give them your own choice of colors. And I was happy with these ones. And the carded wool gets um, felted really easily. So I'm using two shades. A bit darker on the head. And lighter on the sides. And underneath the head, the neck part. Some more color around the nose. And I'm going to cover the head with some more wool. It is going to be covered with the hat anyways, but still you have to have the color underneath. To just mark the eyes, I'm using a black charcoal pencil. And because it's so tiny, I would rather mark it first. And I've taken, I've cut really small amount of black wool and just pushed it in with the needle and shaping it with my needle to form the eyes and the same way I'm making the other eye really small pink color merino top it's baby pink and that I'm using for the nose and shaping it up with my needle to color the limbs so for the hands I'm using light brown color for the tips only so these are going to be the hands and as the tips are going to show because we're going to make a coat so I'm just putting some color on the tips not many details because it's really small so just covering up and this one I'm going to make wearing a pink coat so 
I'm just covering it up with pink color so these will be the sleeves for the coat taking some merino top and folding it over and just measuring out how much I need placing wool on top just to make it thick but not too thick and then folding it down making a flat piece with neat edges so I'm just measuring it that it comes around it's a bit bigger than the body because I have to fold it down to make the collar so to get the edge really neat and this is where the multi-tool comes handy so when this is done I'm ironing it out with a hair straightener so you've got a really thin piece of fabric you can use a felt sheet as well so I'm just folding it down a bit so that forms the collar of the coat and I'm gonna cover the feet with brown as well I'm going to attach the feet first Then cover it with dark brown wool. I have also covered the front part of the bunny with some light brown color. Now the coat goes on, I'm just felting it down and now the arms and you have to use as much as you need and we're going to cut off the rest of them. So when they're securely in place, we're going to cut the extra part and then felt it down. And cover it with pink if you need to now we're going to make the hat and for that I'm using purple color and I'm going to make a strip a really thin one and fold it down it should be enough to go around the head measure it out goes all around the head and that's all we need once you've got the strip ready you can iron it out using the hair straightener again it really gives a smooth finish and you just need around the head take off the extra bit I'm using that wool to form a circle and you can add more wool to it I'm just adding it to make it a bit thicker and we're folding it down it doesn't have to be a perfect circle but just a circle so it goes around the head and becomes a hat and just measure everything out neaten the edges 
and then I'm going to iron this as well so I've got two flat pieces and now we have to join them together so I've placed it onto the strip and I'm felting it down like I'm holding the circle vertically and the strip is laid on the mat and then I'm going around with my needle attaching the both parts it's a bit tricky but you do get the hang of it it's the first this is the second time I'm doing it This hat is a bit bigger than the one I made before. I'm just going around with the needle on the inside so I've got a good shape. And I'm going to shape it further when it's on the head. I'm just shaping the edges. So you, now you can see it's got a nice edge to it. And I'm making that with my needle. And giving the whole hat a bit of shape. So the difference between the green one and this one was that it's got a bigger border and I ironed it out. Now I'm attaching a really thin strip of wool to form a ribbon around the hat. You can add designs, you can add flowers. I've added a little flower and leaves to it as well. And adding details is really fun to do, especially when it's so teeny tiny. So now the hat is done, I'm going to add some embellishments, that's just some pink wool rolled up, it looks like flower now. A little piece of green, I'm just shaping it as a leaf. And now the ears. So I'm using carded wool again and I'm shaping the ears. And they have to be really small. So you have to use really small piece of wool so they don't get thicker. And I'm adding some pink for the insides. Shaping them. They're both done. I'm going to iron them out. So I get really nice and thin ears. Trimming off the extra bits. And the wool sticking out. And now I'm going to attach them on top of the hat I just fold over the edges to give them a natural look and cut off the extra bits and really fill them down Now I'm making a button for the coat. So just 
a little piece of round ball forming a circle and I'm attaching some brown yarn to it so it looks like a thread just little teeny teeny tiny details you can add as many as you want I thought I'll give this one a bit of an extra detail as well so I've just added a fastener to it and there they are they both are ready and they are super cute I'm going to make a baby as well thank you very much and do subscribe for more cute creations thank you